everyone. Welcome to our Will Workshop. I am Nicole Ivory with Ladies of Justice, Singer Director for Legal Shield, and today we're going to talk about how easy it is to set up your will for your family. Simple as one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to make sure everyone takes this time now to grab your coffee, to get your piece of paper and your pen, and take plenty of notes. If you have any questions at the end, I'll show you how you can message me so I can go ahead and respond to your questions. All right, let's get started. Okay, look at this terrible fact, you guys. Um, did you know that only 44% of Americans have a will? Yes, only 44%. If we were in school, this would be an F. I don't know, maybe a negative F, right? Because in school, they always used to tell us you have to have at least a 70 percentile to pass to at least have a C, this is 44%. So America is failing. And so I don't want anyone who's looking at this presentation to be, uh, a, well, you can be a part of this percentage, this uh, statistics here, but I don't want you to be a part of the other 54% that are not, that do not have a will for their family. Okay. And of course, this is by the gallup.com poll, and I'll have that link in the description. But guess what? We don't have to not have a will. People think it's so complicated. No, today we're going to show you how easy it is to secure one. So what are some of the other reasons people feel like, you know, why they don't have one or excuses they have, right? Um, some people say, I don't need it if I want everything to go to my kids. Um, my family members will take care of my kids. I don't have anything. OK, it's too expensive and takes too long. Well, let me come back and refute all of these for you, starting at the top. You know, I don't need it if I want everything to go to my kids. Hmm. Your heirs will have to go to probate court, which is expensive, time consuming and public. OK, um, my family members will take care of my kids. Well, we need to have that will so we can actually put that in writing. OK, so who would look after your children if both parents died? Would you want an ex to receive your estate? These are some things that we need to, uh, you know, make sure we put in the will, okay? Um, also, number three, it says, I don't have anything. Well, actually, everybody needs a will, okay? Um, and it just makes the process a lot easier. Sometimes people think they don't have anything to give, and then they find out, their family finds out, and actually they do. And then, of course, the last one here says it's too expensive and takes too long. I think this is one of the biggest misconceptions because we always just see the celebrity who dies and doesn't have the will. So we're like, oh, my gosh, this is too expensive. It takes too long. You know, I just make six figures or I just make 50000 you know. Um, but actually, Legal Shield makes it very easy. And it makes an option of responsibility versus a financial decision, okay? So now you can be that responsible person that you are and secure your family and protect them from any type of uh, probate or litigation that may uh, need to happen. Okay, so let's look at some of the, some of our people who have actually secured wills for their families. And just to let you know, we do business in both America and Canada. So first, we're going to start with our American member from California. It says, my husband and I have been waiting, or excuse me, wanting to get our wills done for years. Legal Shield has made it so simple, and the turnaround time was amazingly fast. Now we have peace of mind knowing we have things in order. Thank you for the prompt and courteous service. I would definitely recommend this service. I also have to agree with this California member. <laughs> um, I too actually created a will uh, with a legal shield. That was one of the first things that I wanted to do because again, I too have been putting off forever. And so um, I was able to do mine uh, via the uh, via email, excuse me. They actually sent me uh, you know, a copy and then I just filled it out, sent it back. And then they went ahead and did everything for me. We had a couple of back and forth calls, you know, what I needed to do. And then the finalized will was emailed to me. I was uh, able to print it out at UPS store. And then of course I had the two individuals I needed there to go ahead and sign off on everything. And of course with the notary there, easy peasy printed out copies for my other two folks there. And I have mine. So now we're good to go. It was that easy very affordable. So I just have to second this California member. Next, 
from Canada, from British Columbia. Um, dear Legal Shield, I provided Legal Shield with the challenge of preparing a will in a few days as I was traveling for a month. They met the challenge and were able to help me leave paper signed just in case. I am halfway through my trip and enjoying the peace of mind. Many thanks. You know, that's a big deal. Um, I know I have used to travel a lot. I can't wait to travel more, right? But I remember I used to travel a lot. And unfortunately, people do die. They pass away um, on vacation. I used to see that a lot when I used to be on cruises, right? And so, you know, you don't want to be somewhere and pass away and not have all of your items in place. You don't want to be one of those stories, you know, that we keep hearing about all the time. And guess what? Legal Shield makes it very easy to where your name is going to be good, you know, for not only for yourself, but for your family in the event um, tragedy strikes, okay? So again, the good news, good news is Legal Shield makes it so easy. All right. And not only do we make it easy, we can start you on your way today. Yes, today. You don't have to wait tomorrow. You can either use our paper will questionnaire. Now, this is something that I actually send off to my clients via mail. And like I said, I actually received a uh, uh, email, a soft copy from my um, home attorney. Okay. Or I'll show you in just a few simple steps how you can use our app. And then that way you can just do everything in the palm of your hand, okay? So basically, so basically this app is going to be for uh, those people who are actually members of Legal Shield. Very easy to become a member of Legal Shield. I will also drop this in the description section so you can just click on it and go. But what you're going to do is go to niivory.wearelegalshield.com. You will go ahead and click the Legal Shield plan, which is $29.99 per month. Go ahead and sign up. They'll get you your member number easy peasy. And then once you do that, you're going to go ahead and download the app. Once you download the app, of course, you're going to sign in. Okay. And once you successfully sign in, you'll just follow these simple steps that I'm showing you today. Okay. So um, again, you're going to open the app and click easy to complete will and other questionnaires and then click estate planning. So you see here where they have the first circle, then you go to the second circle. Okay. And then we're going to go to step two, complete the general information. So it's going to ask you, of course, those general uh, questions like your first name, your address, your date of birth. And again, what they're showing you here is for the app on the left, okay, that you can use on your phone. And then, of course, on the right is going to be either that printed or mailed will questionnaire that I send to my clients or it's going to be emailed to you, okay, uh, from your home um, attorney office, all right? So they're just kind of showing you both ways in case, you know, if you have one of the, uh, the other in front of you. Okay, so step three, this is when we're going to put our spouse or partner information. So it's going to look identical to yours, except it's their information. And then uh, in addition to that, you're also going to put down the marriage date and location. So make sure you have that information handy. All right, step four, you're going to complete the dependent information. This is very important um, because you want to make sure that those dependents, those individuals that you are leaving, uh, you know, your assets to, that they are definitely listed on here, okay? So names, birth dates, you know, names and birth dates of grandchildren, your children, uh, if you have special needs children, uh, select the custodian. Also, if there's some disinheritance and special requests, you can put that here. Okay, so I already said everybody doesn't like everyone in a family, or maybe some people feel some people can't manage um, their assets appropriately. That's fine. That's up to you. This is your will, and you can actually put those special requests in these sections. So moving on to step five. 
Okay, so again, moving on to the asset section, this is where you're going to fill out, you know, items such as your real estate assets, motor vehicles, retirement plans, life insurance policies. And I have to stop right there because I am an insurance broker. And of course, I sell life insurance policies. And if anyone passes away, their beneficiaries will Auto, I shouldn't say automatically, right? But once upon um, the death certificate has been received by the insurance carrier in a timely manner, uh, the the beneficiaries will receive the death benefits uh, that you know will be bestowed to them as a result of that life insurance policy. That's great. That happens, you know, regardless of a will. But one thing that I do like here is the fact that they're still listing it in a will, so that everyone is aware of all assets that is available to that person. Sometimes what happens is people do um, get life insurance policies and then they never tell anyone, <laughs> you know, so they never tell anyone, you know, the insurance carrier's name, you know, the policy number and the amount of coverage. They just don't do it. And so then you have, um, you know, heirs just kind of, um, you know, trying to search and find out who is the uh, insurance carrier. And I mean, there's hundreds of them. People also merge, you know, uh, some insurance go under. So, you know, it's just great to have this information all in one place. So there's no questions um, in the event this information is needed. And then, of course, your investments and banking information should be listed on here as well. And now, which they don't have here, you may have to leave your crypto or your ledger information, right? So, you know, because those are assets on your um, your ledger and you may want to leave that information too for your, um, for your heirs because a lot of people have a lot of money on those ledgers. So you don't want it just sitting there when people can actually utilize that, okay? So now we're going to move on to step six. So end of life request, okay? So this is really important too, because this is your life, okay? So this is, uh, I always say this is where you may take a little bit more thought um, into this, but you know, do you have any special arrangements requests? Do you have treatment of remains? How do you, you know, how do you want your remains to be treated? Pet care, you know, pets are an extension of our family, right? So you want to make sure that they are left with the most responsible and loving, uh, you know, household. And so you want to put those items there. And then social media, this is really huge. You know, this is something that we really didn't have to worry about 20 years ago, right? But we have so much data out there now, so many different accounts that actually stay live, you know, even when people pass on. I know I personally see people's accounts and it makes me sad sometimes, you know, when I'm able to like tag friends and I see friends listed who are no longer here. So I know with Facebook, um, they do have it to where you can memorialize um, or I should say you can. Uh, I forgot the word that they use, but you can basically sunset your account, right? And you can give um, access to one of your Facebook friends who could be a family member or friend to be able to either manage your account if you wanted to keep it active or if you wanted them to retire your account. So at least they have that, um, you know, option with Facebook. But, you know, if you have other accounts, you know, you may want to have someone take care of those. I know personally, I have a lot of business accounts for my social media. So even when I pass away, those businesses will still need to be active. So that information needs to be um, listed in the will. So just to let you know, I'll give you a little bit more options there, but just definitely take this time here to think about how you uh, want, you know, your pets to be uh, left in great care and how your remains, you know, want to be treated. All right, and then step seven. This is the great part. Now you're finished with everything. It's time to wrap it up, submit it to the provider. They're gonna take a look at it. And like I said, if they have any questions, they are amazing at contacting you to make sure that all of the information is there. If there's anything else extensive, they will let you know what else is needed. Um, and so then once everything is finalized and you're good to go, they will send you a copy back. First of, the, first of all, they're gonna send you a copy to proofread, okay? And then once you say everything's good to go, you're rocking there. Now you can go ahead and print that out, get everything notarized, make sure you have those individuals there who need to sign off on it, make sure they have copies, make sure you have a copy, you know, put that in your legacy box, okay? I always have to tell my insurance, go to legacy.
a house so that way they know where to go to get those documents. Okay, and then a will questionnaire, okay? So all questions uh, applicable to you must be completed in their entirety. I do have the member services number there for those who are members, but it's been a great pleasure talking with everyone today. Again, I am Nicole Ivory, Senior Director with Legal Shield, and I am with Ladies of Justice. Very excited to present this to you. Please go to nivory.wearelegalshield.com. Sign up for the Legal Shield plan. It's only $29.95 a month to secure your family's legacy, okay? So if you have any questions, click on the message button at the top of the website, okay? And